Golden seeds are vital to your progress in Elden Ring, as these are what will allow you to upgrade the number of uses you get out of your Flasks of Tears. While you'll find most of them for exploring, some are also tied to quest lines and bosses. In fact, I'm still working my way through to find all of them. I'm also not going to get into endgame territory as I don't want to spoil that. But I wanted to put together a guide for all of you on every golden sea we've found so far, so if you're struggling or you have a nagging suspicion you missed one of these, you can go find it. These will be in chronological order by area, and you'll find quick links in the description so you can quickly skip ahead and hopefully avoid spoilers for yourself. I'm also going to avoid the ultra late game area for now as I don't want to spoil that. You can find your first golden seed right at the start of the game. Just choose it as your starting gift, which is my personal recommendation for the most useful one, and you're good to go. The second golden seed is actually right at the start of the game in the fringe folk hero's grave, located in the stranded graveyard before you even step foot in Limgrave. To access it, you'll need two stone sword keys. From here, you'll have to traverse through the dungeon and to the boss, who is definitely not for low-level characters. The Ulcerated Tree Spirit. Defeat the Ulcerated Tree Spirit and you'll be rewarded with a couple goodies, including a Golden Seed. You can find your third Golden Seed in Limgrave. From the Gatefront Shrine of Grace, near the Gatefront Runes, head west and then north through the gate and up towards Stormhill Shack. You'll find the Golden Seed on the way here. Just south of Limgrave is the Weeping Peninsula. From the Castle Morn Rampart Shrine of Grace, head south towards Castle Morn, and you'll find a Golden Seed on a cliffside along the way. Next up, we're going to head to Mistwood, located east of Limgrave. From the Fort Height West Shrine of Grace, head toward the castle, defeat the enemies, and you'll find your Golden Seed directly in front of Fort Height. Within the Legacy Dungeon of Stormvale Castle, you'll be able to find a Golden Seed near the Godric boss fight. This Golden Seed is located on the path in between the Liftside Chamber and Secluded Cell, and just past where you'll find Nefeli Lu. Our next Golden Seed actually comes from a questline. Along the way to Stormvale Castle, you'll find an NPC, Roderica, located in Stormhill Shack. There are actually two different ways to get this Golden Seed. If you don't follow her questline and complete her quest, she'll disappear from the Stormhill Shack after you defeat Godric, and you can find the Golden Seed in place of where she was. However, if you want to follow her questline, within Stormvale Castle, you'll find a Grafted Scion you can choose to fight. In a side chamber near the Grafted Scion is a pile of corpses, and on them, the Chrysalid's Memento. Make sure to give her this memento before beating Godric. If you do this, you'll find Roderica at the Round Table Hold, where she'll thank you and gift you with the Golden Seed. Now let's head into Lierni of the Lakes. Once you reach the Academy Gate Town near Rhea Lucaria, you are very close to one. You'll find your next Golden Seed west and slightly north of the Academy Gate Town Shrine of Grace, and right in between that and the South Rhea Lucaria Shrine of Grace. On the eastern side of Liurnia, you'll find Bellum Church near the Grand Lift of Dectus. Head down from Bellum Church into a water-filled tunnel, and you'll find the Ravine Veiled Village, as well as Golden Seed right in front of the village. Caria Manor is pretty badass thanks to the crazy hand monsters that frequent the locale. Not only that, but you'll be able to find a Golden Seed here. After traversing through the manor, you'll eventually reach the manor upper level Shrine of Grace. From here, just go outside, look towards the cliff, and you can't miss it. Academy of Rhea Lucaria is Liurnia's major legacy dungeon, and just like Stormvale Castle, it also contains a golden seed within. Once you reach the Debate Parlor Shrine of Grace, head into the courtyard outside, defeat or pass the Abductor Virgin, and head to the left. You'll find your golden seed here. As a pause, I'm about to get into spoiler territory, so I want to warn people before moving forwards.
Okay, break's over, let's go. Within Mistwood, you'll find an elevator that will take you down to the absolutely stunning Siofer River. Within Siofer River, from the Worshippers Woods Shrine of Grace, head north, and when you get the chance, west towards the giant structure and waterfall, you'll find a golden seed here. Once you reach Celia, town of Sorcerer and Kaled, travel up the main stairs on the eastern side of the city, and you'll find the Golden Seed at the top. Head south from the southern Aeonia Swamp Bank and travel along the trail towards Redmain Castle. You'll find this Golden Seed on the trail along the way. After defeating Star Scourge Radon, you'll be able to access the War Dead Catacombs. Defeat the boss of the dungeon, the Putrid Tree Spirit, and one of his drops will be a Golden Seed. Next up, we head to the Alice Plateau. If you head up through the Ravine Vale Village, you'll first pass through the Abandoned Coffin Shrine of Grace, and then the Erdtree Gazing Hill Shrine of Grace. Right in front of this is the Golden Seed. Along the main road, just past the Grand Lift of Dectus, you'll find the Atlas Highway Junction Shrine of Grace. Just north of this, along the trail, is a Golden Seed. At the north side of the Atlas Plateau is the Windmill Village. From this Shrine of Grace, head south towards the Minor Erd Tree. Along the way, you'll find a Golden Seed. This one is a nice twofer. From the Atlas Plateau, if you head into Lendel, the royal capital, from the south side through the main path, you'll find the Outer Wall Phantom Tree Shrine of Grace. Directly in front of it is not one, but two Golden Seeds. Nice. Within Lendel, the royal capital legacy dungeon, in a broken down courtyard on the north side, you'll find a Tree Spirit mini-boss fight. Go ahead and fight it, as your reward for defeating this tree spirit is none other than a golden seed. Just past the West Capitol Rampart, head forward, outside towards the giant tree branch. Fight the gargoyle, and there's your prize at the phantom tree. At Mount Gelmir, from Seathwater River, head north through the passage towards Seathwater Terminus. You'll find the Golden Seed on the way there, just a little past the Seathwater Shrine of Grace. Past the 9th Mount Gelmir campsite, after the full-grown Falling Star Beast boss fight, and on the way down towards Volcano Manor and the Road of Iniquity Shrine of Grace, you'll find your Golden Seed here. In Langdell, if you head east from the East Capital Ramparts, you can find the Forbidden Lands. From the Forbidden Lands site of Grace, on the way to the Grand Lift of Rold, you'll find a 25th Golden Seed. And that's all we have for you so far. As I said earlier, I don't want to spoil anything beyond this, and I'm sure that there are plenty of seeds I haven't found yet, so, get hunting, and if you guys enjoyed this, we'll have a full updated guide for you on every seed location, as well as a sacred tier guide coming soon. Make sure to stick to GameSpot for all things Elden Ring.